My name is Hemza. I work at a company called Giri Medica, which is based in the Netherlands, uh, in a city called Amsterdam. And what we do is we support uh, caregivers in the elderly care from beginning to end and support the way of working. Uh, on the one hand, we do that with our own software as a service treatment medical record system. And on the other hand, we also offer education and help the scientific world with the data we've gathered within our system to leverage that data and to try to research the way we give care and to try to improve that way. So an example of patient intelligence in my way of thinking is for example a dashboard we built with SciSense and also with the new functionality called Blocks is create an overview of a ward where you see which patients are admitted at that ward but also how they are aligned with the care path that are chosen for that patient. So for example, uh, when a patient is admitted into a nursing home, they would say, well, we expect that that patient would uh, be admitted for X number of days, would get X number of hours of treatment from caregivers. And with the help of SciSense, we, we can create a dashboard that monitors all those clients on a specific ward, but also highlights clients that are below or above a, a given care path. And that way, uh, with that insight, a doctor can make decisions based on what they see to say, well, this is the patient that needs more care or this is the patient we need to look further into because they received a lot of treatment and maybe it's not, that's not something is going wrong. Uh, and when we create a dashboard for the first time for nurses and, and, and doctors and, and other caregivers, uh, we got a lot of positive feedback because it was so visual. But we also saw uh, some hiccups, some difficulties, uh, some thresholds that they had to overcome, uh, especially if we're looking at people that are uh, spending 40, 50, 60 hours uh, a week treating patients, making them better, uh, just giving care. Uh, and what they do not, do not need is spending uh, too much time, and too much time can be five minutes, 10 minutes, or half an hour, or an hour, uh, analyzing a dashboard. And with the use of blocks, we could take that visualizations to another level, not only in terms of charts, but also in the use of icons, images, uh, and feedback forms. We saw in the beginning, before the uses of SciSense, is that uh, doctors or a team uh, of caregivers would talk about every client on that ward. Uh, if you have 20 clients, you have one hour to talk about them, uh, that results in three minutes a client. Uh, and because we created a dashboard that monitors that ward, uh, and also red lights, if certain clients are uh, not conforming to the, to the car path, care path that was chosen, um, instead of talking about 20 clients in an hour, uh, they can reduce that to 10 clients in an hour, which doubles the time they can talk about a client and only talk about the clients that are need to be talked about. And with the usage of blocks, you could even take that to another level by also uh, aggregating all the data, all the information that is spread out in our system or in systems uh, and leverage it in that one dashboard, make it very visual if it, uh, in terms of uh, weight gains or weight losses. And with the uses of blocks, we could really make that visual and uh, also increase the time uh, spent on a, on a client from six to seven minutes. So in total, in my opinion, we really improved the way doctors are giving care. And I think that's because of two reasons. The first reason is that it's very easy to do. It has a le less threshold, a, a low threshold. Uh, it doesn't have a steep learning curve, so everybody can um, easily consume dashboard, but also design dashboards. But what really pushed us over the edge, figuratively speaking, is the customer success of SciSense. Uh, from the get-go, from day one, until actually now, uh, they've supported me, us, but also our end users uh, from beginning to end. 